Okay guys, last time I went over to the park, I got a $250 parking ticket. I parked where I parked for 20 years, and now it's a fire route. $250, yeah, $250. So here I am. I don't feel like paying $250 to park. To go to a park. To park to go to a park. Anyhow, this is not a lesson. It's just me shooting and talking. Yeah, you know, in Canada, you own a gun, they're after you, take your gun, you know. For years, if you smoked a joint, oh, they're after you, you know. You now, if you park on the street, they're after you. Money, money, money. You know, that's all it is. That's all it is. They bring immigrants into our country, you know why? So that they can pay taxes. They're not being nice to people. Taxes. You know? Anyhow. This is what I think of taxes. There's the tax man. <laughs> Have fun, boys. Hey, guys. Friday night, not much going on. I don't know if I would call this a lesson, but I'll take a couple shots and talk for a while. Last week I went to go over to the park where I go to uh, shoot outside and I got a $250 ticket for parking where I've parked for 20 years. It's a fire route now. Yeah, we have a mayor that just goes around stopping people and parking everywhere and wants to put uh, toll roads on the highways. A really greedy little man. A really greedy little man. Taxes have gone up again. Yeah, really. And you know, I guess I shouldn't talk about politics, but this guy, is John Tory, is our mayor, right? And there's a bunch of railroad tracks way out in the West End that have been there for a hundred years. You know, it's the main hub. Anyhow, he finds it unsightly. It's unsightly. So he's building a roof, or basically a roof, over this railway yard, and it's going to cost a billion dollars, and he's turning it into a dog park. My taxes have gone up, and the mayor is making a billion dollar dog park and giving me a $250 ticket for parking so that I can go to a little archery club. <laughs> it's a riot, eh? It's a riot, man. Really. And, uh,. This is what we think of the tax man. Nice little group, eh? You know who he is? He's the evil warrior. <laughs> Back in a minute. Okay, guys. You know, some might ask me why I call it non-reality TV. 
Well, reality kind of stinks. So we're here in non-reality TV where all good things are possible. Good if you have a little bit of a sense of humor in life. My friend Justin emailed me saying, you know, and he's a fan, you know, a fan. But he emailed me saying that he's got pituitary cancer, he's had an operation, and now he's got COVID. very grateful for what we have. And if you don't have your health, you don't have very much. That's uh, a real fact. So I hope that Justin gets well. In the meantime, in between time, ain't we got fun? Oh, the tax man, he's been taken out again. Da da da. <laughs> okay, boys, have fun. One thing that I will mention is that so often we hear about people who, you know, come in in front of your face, four inches, six inches, line it up and draw back. We're doing the exact opposite. We're going past our anchor and letting it, letting the boat pull our hand forward. So we're not aiming from here and back. We're aiming from back here and forward. Gary Chin told you that. I call it the occipital. Okay, you can call it the occipital, which sounds better, but anyhow, I call it the occipital. That's where that bone joins my jaw and my ear. So that's what I think of the tax man. But uh, the thumb is a real advantage when you put that in behind your ear. So it's drawing to the ear, just like our ancestors, only I'm showing you how to do it correctly. You put that uh, thumb in there, and you just line up on your mouth and get it lined up. The big thing is this. Like Horace Ford said, most people miss when they're pulling back. Well, we're not missing pulling back because we're going all the way back and when we get back, we're allowing that arrow to be pushed forward right at the target. That's how I aim. Anyhow. <laughs> Taxes. Have fun, boys. <laughs>